Hi guys, let me show you the most fun method in algebra called the cover up method. It's used when you have to uh, decompose fractions using partial fractions and it is fun and it's very efficient, much faster than the old fashioned way. So let's do an example. Let's enter a degree 2 polynomial and see what it looks like. So here's our um, fraction with two linear factors on the bottom and this is how the decomposition looks like. Our objective is to find coefficients a and b. Well, to find a it's pretty easy. Watch this. Uh, we're gonna co cover up x plus 4 here on the left side and we're going to plug in for x whatever x value makes x plus 4 equal to 0. Guess what x value that one is? That's negative 4. So negative 4 plus 6 is 2. So we end up with 1 over 2 on the left side. So our factor a is 1 over 2, 1 half. How cool is that? Let's find b the same way. Okay, x plus 6 is the factor underneath b, so cover up x plus 6 right here. And we are left with 1 over x plus 4. Plug in negative 6 for x, because that is the x value that makes x plus 6 equal to 0. And we're going to get negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2, 1 over negative 2. And that is the value for b. Here it is the same in written format, and here is the decomposition. One, negative 1 over 2 for b, and 1 over 2 plugged in as coefficients. How cool is that? If I show you the traditional way, that would be here. It is much more painful. Um, two linear factors on the bottom x minus 1, x plus 1, we have to find a and b again, lowercase, uppercase, no worries. And then there's quite a bit of algebra involved. Multiply both sides by the denominator, match coefficients, solve equations, blah, 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 blah. Way too complicated. Let's have some more fun with the cover-up method using three linear factors on the bottom, like this example shows x plus 2. Let's scroll up. Here's our decomposition. And we are supposed to find a, b, and c. How? How we find a? Well, x plus 2 is underneath a. So we're going to cover up x plus 2 here on the left. And we are left with this part of the fraction. And we're going to plug in negative 2 for both axes because that's what makes x plus 2 equal to 0. So here we're going to get 2 and here we're going to get 4. 2 times 4 makes 8. 1 over 8 is the a coefficient. To find b, you can just follow the steps here to read it out. But that's called cheating. So I am challenging you to find c. Coefficient c um, by yourself. And if you get 1 over 8, you did it correctly. And the whole decomposition now looks like this. 1 over 8, negative 1 over 4, and 1 over 8 plugged in for a, b, and c. Now that is fun. Well, there's a whole lot of uh, other fun things in algebra made easy, but this one I didn't want to, um, you know, this one I definitely wanted to show you. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice day.